Good morning. This is a very different <laughs> intro. <laughs> that felt really awkward. Hi everyone. <laughs> That's more like it. Um, it's really early in the morning. I decided to film a get ready with me chit chat trying new products from the Sephora VIB sale. And this is the look that I came up with. I'm trying pretty much everything is new um, except for my bronzer. And that's it. I think my bronzer is like the only not new thing and my mascara. But I love the way it looked. I'm trying a bunch of stuff. I'm trying the Patrick Ta, the new pat. It's all fingerprinty. The new Patrick Ta palette. Gosh, it's gorge. Um, new concealer from Dior. 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 <laughs> the LYS foundation. This Refi cream highlighter. Givenchy powder. Item Beauty blush. Um, what else? This little Kosas trio of brow products, lots of new stuff. Like I said, everything on my face is new except for my mascara and my bronzer. Um, and I love the way that it turned out. I think it's really, really pretty. I'm still in my pajamas. These pajamas are the best pajamas ever. They're from Skims. Get them off Nordstrom. They don't have them on the Skims website. I just ordered another pair of them and they're oh, so, so nice. So, I'm so excited to do this get ready with me. I haven't done one in a very, very long time. So if you guys like get ready with me chit chat style videos, let me know down in the comments below and I can definitely work on filming them more often. And let me know what you guys picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. I do have my haul video going up. If it, I think it's gonna go up before this does. So make sure you check that out. I, it's a two-parter. There's a makeup and then a skincare because it, otherwise it'd be too long. So let me know what you guys picked up from the sale. If you've tried any of these products, what are your thoughts? Let me know down in the comments below and let's jump right into the get ready with me chit chat tutorial, try new products. Okay, so it's five in the morning. I get up every morning at five to get ready for the day before the kids wake up. Um, I also pump. So if you hear random like noises, it's probably my pump. <laughs> I um, have the Willow and it's amazing. They just came out with a new Willow Go and I ordered it through my insurance. So I'm excited to try it. Okay, but today we're gonna try a lot of the new products that I just got from the Sephora VIB sale. Um, and I'm gonna pump because that's just my life. And this is like the only time I can film like makeup type tutorial videos or like try on hauls. So, um, yeah, I have a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have to do a couple of these because there's so many, I bought so much stuff. Uh, I'm gonna start off by putting a little bit of this lip mask on. I still haven't fixed my nails. So this is gonna be like a get ready with me and trying new products. Maybe a little chit chat. I haven't done one in a long time. Kind of catch you guys up on what's going on. Okay. So it's definitely a firmer texture. If you're used to like the Laneige, uh, the Laneige sleeping mask, that's like real goopy. It's a firmer texture, really nice. That feels really, really good on the on the lips. So, so far that's nice. Um, I'm actually going to let's do brows. I'm just gonna get ready like I normally do and just try to use as much new stuff as I can. So this was the little Kosas set that I showed in that video. I got mine in soft brown, and I'm just going to work on my brows. So yesterday. Okay, backstory. I have wanted to do boxing for like as long as I can remember, since like early 20s. I'm 35 now. I have wanted to take like a boxing class. <laughs> um, boxing or kickboxing. Um, I used to do, does anybody remember Turbo Fire <laughs> from Beachbody? Like I used to do that religiously in my garage because I just loved like boxing, kickboxing, that kind of stuff. So anyways, I've been wanting to like take actual boxing for years, like easily probably 10 to 15 years. So um, I told Ted this year, I was like, I'm making this happen. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. Like I've wanted to do it. I've always had an excuse. I wanna do it. Another thing I wanna do this year is I wanna do the Spartan this November. I think it's like down in San Jose area in November. I wanna get Ted and Jake. Jake's my brother-in-law, it's Ted's brother. And Mac, which is Ted's other brother. Um, 
Jengis whether Max getting married. I wonder if Beth would do it. I don't know that she would do the Spartan, but maybe I could talk her into it. But I really want to do the Spartan. I think it'd be just like a really good accomplishment. It's kind of like the, um, oh gosh, what is the other race that's like similar to the Spartan? I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, back to my story. I wanted to take it, take boxing. So this year, it was just probably maybe two months ago, month and a half ago, I was like, Ted, I really have wanted to do boxing. Like, I feel like I have not done things that I've wanted to. Like, you know what I mean? Like you have like stuff you wanna try, things you wanna try to do, hobbies or whatever, try new things. And I just always put it, um, put it to the side, you know? It's like, oh, it's not a good time. Like busy with the kids or Ted was working out of town a lot. So it's like, I didn't have the time and um, anyways, this year I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna make excuses anymore. Like you can't fill from an empty cup, right? So like, I need to find things that I enjoy too. Like I love my kids, but my life can't just revolve around my kids. Cause one day my kids are going to grow up and then like, I won't know who I am anymore because I'll, I will have lost myself to just being a mom, you know, and being a mom is amazing and it's great. And I feel so blessed to have three beautiful, healthy, smart, crazy, sassy, <laughs> amazing kids. But I'm not just a, a mom and I'm not just a wife. I'm also me, you know? And I think it's very easy, especially if you work from home or you're a stay-at-home mom, to really lose yourself. Okay, I really like this color. This soft brown color is really nice. Um, to really lose yourself and let go of the things you love to do. And um, I mean, I will would have felt completely lost if I did not already establish a routine of getting up at five in the morning to get ready before the kids get up. Like, I get made fun of sometimes for wearing makeup to the gym or always being full glam, but makeup, co drinking my coffee and watching my shows makes me happy. And so I get up at 5 a.m. every morning to do those three things by myself in peace and um it sets the tone for my day so anyways i'm taking boxing that's what that long story was i'm taking boxing and i'm so excited okay i like that brow product that was really nice really easy i tend to go for like a little bit of a smaller tip and this one is more triangle tip uh but the packaging is so cute i'm gonna let the tinted stuff uh dry a little bit before i go in with the clear i'm gonna try a new sunscreen this one is a new brand it's called K-Skin. Oh my gosh, look at this. I had my Apple Watch on so tight, it took up all my self-tanner. That's hilarious. I'm also gonna be getting this tattoo removed. I'm very excited. Loved it at the time, but now I'm like, uh, I can't, I don't like this font. Like, why would I have gotten like that font? So I'm gonna get that removed here pretty soon. Um, don't mind my self-tanned hands. They're like really a situation. Um, and I don't have nails on, so, you know, those things will <laughs> be fixed eventually, but I really wanted to get this video filmed. Um, so I said I had the Willow. Um, I love it. If you have the Willow pump, have you ever done the bags out method? Do you know how much more milk you can get in there? Oh my gosh. I'm doing, I do that every morning. That's the only time I do the bags out method because I pump so much first thing in the morning. Okay. That sunscreen went on very, very nice. Has a beautiful glow. Really lightweight. So far, I like it. So that is the Cayman, or Cayman, the K-Skin SPF 45 Isle Glow Face Lotion. Feels really nice. So excited about that. It's the Patrick Top Palette, which I'm very excited about. Um, I've just been using um, concealer as my primer for a long time. Um, any concealer you want will work. I think this is the Jeffree Star concealer I've had it. So I was like, mm, might as well use it. It's okay. It's not my favorite. Um, but I don't really love it under my eyes. I feel like it tends to be a little drying. And this is shade 13 and look how light it is. So, I mean, he does cater to a very wide skin range, at least in the light skin. Because again, this is shade 13 and look how light that is wild oh my gosh so I get like an extra coffee and drink half of that in the evening 
and then put it in the fridge and I drink the other half first thing in the morning. It's so nice. I drink way too much coffee. I mean, is there really such thing? I don't think so. Okay. Patrick Chopelt. This is the new rose one. I love the regular one. So I'm very excited to try this one. Oh my gosh. I can't get it open. Ooh, how pretty she is. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna, I don't know if that's gonna be light enough for my brow bone. We'll, we'll try. I might have to go in with like a different palette for my brow bone. I'm going with that lightest shade. I'm gonna kind of, yeah, it's way too light or way too dark. This was another palette I got. I'm gonna grab this because I know there'll be a light shade for my brow bone because that is gonna be way too dark for my skin tone. So I'm just going in with like a light creamy shade for my, just under my brow bone. I'm excited to try this Too Faced palette. Um, I hold it, it's the nudes one. And then I just saw that they came out with another one. So I'm kind of like, Ugh. well now I wanna try that one. And then there's a new Artist Couture palette coming out. And I love the original one that I bought. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna start off with this color and just kind of run that in the upper part of my crease. So this is just a Ipsy, like a random Ipsy brush that I have. I just use a fluffy brush. I mean, I guess this really isn't a tutorial. I'm just trying new things. I haven't like filmed one of these in so long. It's like I get requested to do tu tutorials, but they don't get watched all that often. I just feel like that's in general with um, a lot of people's tutorials. Like it's just not the vibe, like what used to be popular back in like my original days of YouTube are just not really what everyone's loving, or maybe they're love a small few are loving it. But I filmed so many really good, like top five Amazon videos this week. I've been so productive. Oh, okay, so it's just a really nice, kind of more of like a peachy color, actually. All right, next I'm gonna go in with. This is a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH31. I really love that collection. I think it's been sold out. I've been wanting to buy like the full collection again, like of the face and eye brushes because I use them all the time and some of mine have kind of gotten scraggly. But you know what brushes like have still held up that I've had since before I started YouTube? Like I'm talking 2009, my Sigma brushes. I used to have Sigma brushes that have SS. Do you remember that? If you are like OG Sigma, they started out, like all the brushes started out with the numbering SS and then a number. It's crazy. Anyways, so I started boxing and I'm very excited about that. I also am um, most likely <laughs> hoping to start jujitsu this summer with Ethan. So if you don't know, I have three kids, Ethan, Olivia, and Lincoln. Ethan is 11, he's in sixth grade. Olivia is three and Lincoln is three months old. And um, Ethan is in sixth grade, but he's a year younger than everybody. So they did, he did this thing called TK where they start, like the class is like partly preschool, partly kindergarten. And you do like at the end of the year, they either are like, okay, no, you you need to do kindergarten like your regular age because he's kind of right at that cutoff. So you need to do kindergarten in your regular age so he'd be an older, one of the older kids in kindergarten. Or they're like, nope, socially, academically, you are able to move forward to kindergarten. So then he would be like a very, very young kindergartner, or sorry, first grader. When he moved into first grade, he'd be one of the young, he'd be like the youngest. Or he'd be like an older first grader by the time he made it to first grade. So they said, you know, he's really smart. He is great socially. He could move on to first grade. So it's never been an issue. Um, also, I'm a girl. I skipped my 11th grade year and went to um, College Connections for my 12th grade year. So I was graduating high school with like my AA, my AA degree, essentially, and graduated college at 20. So like with my bachelor's. So that just kind of was, that's just the path that I took. So I was like, oh, well, if he's smart enough and I'm just using that same second color over still in the crease, um, then let's, let's do it. Like he's a smart kid. 
Well, it wasn't until like maybe fifth grade and really into sixth grade that we've noticed like a big shift, especially in boys. I'm sure it happens in girls too, but I can't, couldn't remember. But um, with boys where they start kind of bantering more, picking on each other a little bit, there's a big shift in maturity in this like fifth, sixth grade, that 11, 12, 13 year range. So he's 11 and all the kids in his class are like 12, 13. So it's been a little bit of a struggle. We've dealt with like a little bit of bullying issues, him getting picked on. So not only is he younger, but um, he's not like one of the taller kids. And so he's gotten picked on a little bit. And I just like really want to help him with his confidence and discipline and stuff. Cause you know, when you're li littler, smaller than the kids picking on you and you're younger, um, I just want him to feel confident. So I thought jujitsu would be really good because it would teach him to control the situation. It would give him confidence. It would give him discipline. If he's getting picked on, he could know that like he could like control the situation, but he doesn't have to, and he doesn't have to hurt the kid, but he would know that if it came to the fact that he needed to defend himself, he could. Like I never want my kid fighting, but if somebody's going to be pushing him and shoving him and picking on him, then I want him, I want to know, and I want him to know that he actually ultimately has control over the situation because he has the skills to, you know, decide what happens next. So anyways, I just think it'd be really good for him. I think it'd be a great thing for him and I to do together. Um, I'm going over with the third color. It's kind of like more of a purpley maroony tone. Um, so anyways, I obviously don't condone fighting. I don't condone violence, but I am a huge advocate for people learning how to defend themselves, especially being a petite young woman. I want to know how to protect myself if I ever got into a situation. I feel like the world's a little bit scary. And just being a woman, I want to know that I could defend myself. Um, so anyways, we're going to do that. And I'm very excited. So my boxing, my jujitsu. I'm just going to be like the next karate kid. I'm pretty excited about that. <laughs> um, and I just thought it'd be a fun mother-son thing to do that's like active. And I don't know. I just thought it'd be something different. Okay, I'm really loving this palette so far. These colors blend really nice and they just blend over each other really good. Okay, how am I doing in the pumping situation? I have to like take these off here pretty soon. Um, side note, these pajamas, they're the Skims pajamas. You, I can, I've only found them on Nordstrom's website. I don't see them on the Skims website. They're amazing. Sam and I bought these jammies together when we went to Sacramento and I loved them. And then she got me some pajamas at the same time that I bought the same pajamas. <laughs> and so she's like, oh girl, just exchange it for whatever like you want. So I exchanged them for another pair of these ones. So technically Sam bought me a pair of uh, peachy ones like this that are really, really cute. So I'm gonna do a haul, a Nordstrom haul, a pajama haul, cause I got a few other pajamas that are pretty phenom that I'd share with y'all. Okay, so far these are blending really nice. I love the colors. It's not too like rosy or like red toned. Okay, I'm going over with the fourth color. I'm just kind of like going down the lines of mats and just building on each other. I'm also going to the gym today, so this is gonna be really great to wear to the gym. Nice smoky eye. Um, I have no shame wearing makeup to the gym. So yesterday I went to the gym and did my workout. Then I went and did boxing. And you know, obviously did my makeup super early in the morning. I sweated my butt off both workouts and my makeup freaking looked so fly and so fresh. I wore the um, new Makeup Forever foundation that I talked about and it was so good. Also that Charlotte Tilbury setting spray is like an absolute must. I talked about that in my recommendations. It's a game changer. It makes like every foundation just lock in. Gosh, this is really pretty. Okay, let's go into the shimmer. Um, guys, I don't know which one to use. They're all so beautiful. Okay, I think I'm just gonna use this one. This, oh, but I kind of want, hold on. Oh, do I wanna go pinky? Do I wanna go gold? Let's go pinky. Cause it's typically I'd go for that like champagne gold color. 
this does feel a little creamier than the original palette. The original one, those shimmers can get a little stiff feeling and a little harder to apply, but this one is playing really nice. I think I'm sitting crooked because I feel like I keep looking oddly at the thing. If it's possible, I'll try to edit out as much of this pump like swallowing <laughs> noises. Um, but this is like, see that noise, but this is like literally the only way I could film this video because I get ready so early in the morning and I can't, I'm not going to like wipe off my makeup and then do this in the middle of the afternoon. So, you know, I just got to do what I got to do, man. Mom life. Okay. That is so pretty. Look at that. Just using my finger. If I have nails, this would be a lot harder. So I'm glad I'm actually doing this while I don't have nails on. So have you guys done boxing or kickboxing or jujitsu or any kind of martial arts or anything like that? Tell me your experience. I want to know some girls that have done jujitsu because I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, the sparring is what makes me nervous. Like I love learning all of the combos and stuff, but it's the sparring. I'm going to go in with the darkest shade, the darkest matte shade. Okay, I'm back. Baby is fed and he's back asleep. I almost said she. He's back asleep. Okay. Um, I did my liner just because I don't have anything new for that. I just used the Too Faced Better Than Sex liner. It's one of my favorites and um, it just is a nice wing. I'm, I've am i been into the wings like every day for the past, like, I don't know, a year or so. If I do my makeup, I have a wing. Okay. So that um, sunscreen like set in so nicely. I'm a fan. You know, I didn't buy these at the at the Sephora VIB haul, but I bought these in a haul that I still have to film. Uh, it's the Rare Beauty um, primers. So I like illuminating. It's illuminating and the pore. So I this is how I would use them. This is the illuminating one. I like a real glow. I'm really into glowy skin. If you've been with me for a while, you guys know I used to love matte. You give me matte skin. Now I'm like, give me all the glow. So I do like a pump and a half of the glow. And then this one's the pour. I do one, like half a pump of the pour. And I just put the pour one right here. So these you can get at Sephora as well. They're just not from the VIB haul, but they are, I have not shown these in a video yet, a haul video yet, because I haven't filmed it. Okay, I have a foundation we're gonna try. I'm very excited. I've heard a lot of people talk about it. Um, I have a bunch of foundations actually that I bought previously that again, not in this haul, that I um, will probably show in like another trying new videos, trying new products video. But this is the list foundation and it's in, I got the shade MN5. It might be a little dark, but I think I can make it work. It's the triple fix foundation with hyaluronic acid, turmeric, and ashwagandha. The packaging is cool. It's like this triangle glass um, bottle. And I use a beauty blender for everything. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have this, um, I've used it so much like I've worn the coating off. This is the Bounce, Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I just love this tray for um, putting my foundation on. So we're going to do two squirts. It's a runnier foundation. Um, and we're just gonna go in and see how this looks. Use my beauty blender. Well, this is the e.l.f. Um, complexion sponge. It's like my favorite. And then I use the camo concealer sponge. I use these like every day. You'll want to make sure you really, um, squeeze the water out of it though. I use a towel to really squeeze it out. It looks really pretty. It's a little dark. I can take it down my neck and I think we're going to just be fine. But it's covering really nice. Really pretty. I tried a new self tanner too. That's what's on me is the new Loving Tan. I think it's called Platinum. It's like their darkest tan yet. Um, and it was okay. I'm not big on Loving Tan. Um, tanners because I feel like they don't last long on me and they dry really fast. Like, I mean, they dry really fast. 
they wear off really fast and they wear off patchy. Why did I say they dry really fast? That was, my brain is not awake. So I don't film at five in the morning because I haven't had my coffee and I am typically watching my show. Um, it wears off really patchy. Like it doesn't wear off the best. It kind of looks scaly unless you have like the most hydrated skin. I ordered a bunch of stuff from Truly. Like they have like this boob serum and this boob scrub and this butt scrub. I'm like, ugh, I cannot wait to try them. I have the driest skin, so um, the products just look super fun. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora brush. This is one that I bought from the sale. It's the 70, it's the foundation brush. I'm gonna take some foundation and use that to drag it on. Oh, this is a stiff brush. I really like this color. It's looking like, let's see if I can work on the, there we go. It's like that looks a little bit better. <laughs> the background is so messy. This is all stuff that I need to get to Sam. It's her birthday present. Her birthday's in July, but I got her an early birthday present. Um, and I wanted to get it to her early before the weather gets too warm. Well, there is like a sun hat, so that would be like perfect. But, um, and then I have like boxes everywhere for hauls. Okay, so look at this foundation. Um, it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks very, very lightweight. Has like a bit of a glow. Does not look heavy whatsoever. So, so far, I think this foundation looks really nice. It looks really, really um, light on the skin, like lightweight. Sometimes those serum foundations or like the foundations infused with a lot of skincare can be heavy, like the Charlotte Tilbury and then the new It Cosmetics one is a little bit of a heavier pack full of um, skincare. This one has skincare in it, but it's very, very lightweight. It's the new Dior Backstage Concealer <clears throat> and it's in shade 2N. Okay, since I'm filming, I feel like it's really easy for me to forget the order of how I do things. So and it's partially cause I like, sometimes when I'm filming, I like rush because it's like, I'm trying to get it done before a baby wakes up from a nap <laughs> or from sleeping. So I constantly feel like I'm in a state of rushing, which um, I don't like. So I do have my mom helping and then we have like a, I don't know if you call it a nanny babysitter, that's gonna start coming a couple hours a week. I can actually film and work because I have realized I've missed working. Like since I got pregnant with Liv, I've been kind of like inconsistent. So that's like what, four years? So the past four years I've been, this is very lightweight or like very light coverage. For the past four years, I've been really inconsistent with my filming and my videos. And cause I, both my pregnancies, I was so sick the first trimester and it really like threw me off my game, you know? I miss it. Like I feel right before I got pregnant with Lincoln, I was really getting back into it. I was getting it back into filming. I was like really loving being creative with like outfits and stuff on Instagram. I just felt like I was starting to get in a really good flow. And then I got pregnant and I was really sick the first trimester. And I feel like I was like, oh great. Now I've lost, I'm gonna lose myself for another two to three years before like I can start doing what I love again. And it doesn't have to be that way. Instead of waiting until Lincoln is like two or three to like have my life back, like, the things I love doing, working, that kind of stuff. Obviously my kids are also my life, but you know what I mean? Um, if you are like a career or a work driven kind of person, um, being a stay at home mom can be really hard sometimes. And I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to do it. Um, but I also love working and so, and I miss it and I feel like I thrive there. You know, I like being creative. I like, um, working and I feel like I lost a lot of myself when I stopped working so I'm getting back into it and it feels really good so I have a little bit of help a couple hours a week 
and that gives me plenty of time to film, to work on content. And the last two weeks, it's this is the, we're going into the second week of having help. I literally feel like a whole different person. I spoke on um, Instagram how I felt like I was having postpartum depression and postpartum anxiety. And I think a lot of my um, feelings were uh, situational. Like I just felt like I was losing myself. I felt like I didn't know who I was anymore. And I like, Ted's like, when did you thrive last? I'm like, right before I got pregnant with Lincoln. Like I was really getting back into it and I felt amazing. Like I felt creative. I felt like um, I had an outlet. I felt like I had a purpose other than just being a mom. And for me, like I love being a mom, but like I also love being a businesswoman too. Or like doing something businessy. So anyways, that doesn't take away from anybody who loves being a mom. I have friends who are like the most amazing moms and they are stay at home moms and they're amazing. And that is what they have wanted to do their whole life. And it's amazing. And, um, I think because I don't have to work, I felt like that was my only option. And like I kept putting myself in this box of like, okay, you don't have to work. So this is your only option. You are a stay at home mom and you need to love it. And if you don't love it, then you're a horrible person. And I realized like, I'm not a horrible person if I don't love being a, like a stay at home mom. Like if I want more, if I want something else, if I want to be doing something else, that doesn't make me a bad person. It doesn't make me a crappy mom. It just means that I was not made to be a stay at home mom and not do something else creatively or work-wise. So that was a really big uh, revelation for me in the last month. And since I gave myself grace to be who I actually am and, and be okay with not feeling fulfilled, just being a stay at home mom. When I say just, I don't mean just being a stay at home mom is freaking the hardest job you're ever going to do in your whole entire life. And, um, I, I just, I love being able to do that, but also I love being able to do this and I can't do this and, and take care of the kids by myself. That's basically what I'm saying. So we got help. I'm very excited. Um, I feel amazing. Like I think a lot of my anxiety was coming from feeling like I didn't know who I was anymore. Like I felt like I didn't know who Cassie was. I felt like my identity was just being a mom and I was just surviving each day, <laughs> which I mean, newborn life will do that to you because it's exhausting, but I'm feeling really good. Lincoln is sleeping amazing at night. He's still doing a dream feed. And then obviously he wakes up between like five and six and I feed him and then he sleeps till seven and then the kids get up at seven. Okay. I'm using this Givenchy powder. So, um, Sam told me about this and it looks awesome. Like it, it really blurred underneath. That looks really nice. That concealer is definitely like a lighter concealer. Like it's not the most full coverage, which I personally don't love a super full coverage foundation or uh, concealer. I'm just going to set my whole face with this, I guess. The foundation actually set down really nice. So it's a bronzer brush. We're going to try this. This might be a disaster. This is just matte. Give me sun. You can't get this at Sephora, but that's okay. This I don't love for bronzer. Maybe like all over the body or something, but it's like really big. This pro blush, the 99. I want to try this. This is the Item Beauty Blushing Like It's Verified is the color. And it says it's a cream, but it's like very like powdery consistency. I was trying to do something kind of neutral given the uh, eyes are a little pinky. I don't want to be too pinky, you know? Look at this. So pretty. That goes on really nice. I don't know if this is like quite the brush I would use for it. This blush brush is like real flat. Look at it. I tend to go for like a little bit fluffier, but it's okay. The Sephora brushes are just so nice and um, soft. That's pretty. That's looking a little muddy from 
I don't like that bronzer brush for bronzer. It's too big. And I tend to like like a bigger brush for bronzer. The one I've been using is, um, well, I was using the Jaclyn Hill one for a long time. This is what I've been using lately and I really like it. It's the ES05 by Juno & Co. It's like a bit denser, but I've really been enjoying it. Okay, that blush is really nice. It went on really easily. It's not tacky. It literally feels like a cream. I mean, it feels like a powder, but it's a cream. And I like, so far, everything I've tried, I'm loving. Oh, I forgot to put this on before. Oh, we'll do it anyways. This is the Refi um, Cream Highlighter in Topaz. I'm just going to do a tiny bit. So don't, oh, that's probably way too much. Hopefully I don't mess my makeup up. Um, I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. Let me zhuzh this out a little bit. Look at the color. Oh, oh, that's actually probably going to be too dark. Oh no, that, I think it's okay. That's really pretty. It looks like wet. Look at that. Oh, ooh, that's really pretty. You don't need much. And I recommend like using like a beauty blender because I feel like the dampness of the beauty blender will help it melt into the skin. Oh, that's really pretty. Look at it, it just looks wet. Oh, I like that. Okay, so apparently it wasn't filming me do my lower lash line. I just used the darkest shade and then the two middle matte shades and just blended that out. Um, anyways, what I was saying is this is my year of trying new things and stepping out of my box. And you know, we all have junk we gotta work through. So this is my year of working through my junk and trying like doing boxing and trying jujitsu and like, I have really bad social anxiety. I purposely do not go to parties and that kind of stuff because I get too scared of being around a bunch of people I don't know. And I don't like being put on the spot and I don't like being center of attention. And I'm super introverted. So um, this year I'm trying to conquer a lot of that. And um, I'm really excited, excited about it. Okay, this is like my favorite lip liner right now. It's Kala Kala. Kala, Kala, you can tell me how to say it. Um, from Natasha Denona, I've used so much of it already. I bought another one during the sale. This is such a good nude. I love it so much. I bought so many lip products. It's like, I don't know what lip products to use in this video, because there's so many. I still have to do my mascara, but I'll probably do that one off camera, because I don't have a new mascara and um, y'all know how to apply mascara. Some people apply mascara so good. I feel like I suck at applying mascara, but it's because my lashes are kind of sucky. Okay. That's so pretty. I think I'm just going to do the lipstick in Kala as well. Isn't that so pretty? The plumping gloss from Patrick Ta and Superficial. This I got from the sale. It smells cinnamony. Super pretty. Look at that. Ooh, that is really pretty. Okay, let me do my mascara and then we'll finish up here. Okay, so there we have the finished look. My hair is like crazy. I gotta get my extensions moved up and it's just really long. But I love it. Look at my puny little lashes. I love the way everything turned out. I don't think there's anything that I don't like. I think everything was like a smash hit for me. There's nothing that I'm like, mm, you could pass on. I loved the brow products. The eye palette's gorgeous. The foundation looks amazing. That powder like was so smoothing. Look at this highlight. The highlight's beautiful. So far, there's just like nothing. I'm just using my sponge to make sure everything's blended. There's nothing that I I'm looking at that I'm like, mm, you could do without. Like I'm loving everything. I think it all looks so nice. I think it's so pretty. I love it. So what did you guys pick up from the Sephora sale? Let me know down in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products? I know some of them are new, so you wouldn't have been able to try them. 
um, or try them for very long, but let me know down in the comments below. What do you think? Um, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you later. Bye.